Hi, what's up my fellow fitness freaks and welcome to another stretching video. Today we're going to try to open up those hips a little bit more um, with a frog pose. And yeah, for everyone who doesn't know what a frog pose is, in a frog pose we try to create a straight line from knee to knee over our hips, right? Uh, and that is what we're going to do today. Um, if you're warmed up, perfect. If you're not warmed up, go take a hot shower, do a few jumping jacks, do one of my warm-up routines, um, and then come back and let's stretch. So I'm going to use that towel because the mat is kind of sticky and then I'm going to hurt my knees and we don't want that, right? So, okay. So it depends on, on how flexible your hips already are, on how far down you can go. We try to have a nice 90 degree angle here at the knees and then we try to come down. And maybe this is the furthest that you can get down. This is fine too, but maybe you can open up further by moving back and forth here, right? Moving back and forth a little bit, opening up those hips. You could even wiggle a little bit, right? Back and forth here nice right opening up those hips and if you're not that low down don't worry about it just keep stretching right stretching takes time and patience and yeah you gotta work towards your goals like right there are some people who are like naturally super flexible lucky them but well if you're not don't worry about it just like work for it I mean it's even a bigger achievement if you have to work for it right because like if you just if you're just able to do it then you're just able to do it but if you work for it and work and work and work and then you finally manage to do it this is such a good feeling I love doing that like learning new things and achieving stuff it's so satisfying right so satisfying so now if you can rest that chest on the mat or on the floor and then roll the bum up and the hips down here, right? Bum up and hips down in order to open up those hips even more. And then you can wiggle again and maybe, woo, gravity will pull you further down and will open up those hips even further. And these stretches are super good if you wanna work uh, on your pancake and your middle splits and yeah. But don't overdo them, right? Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. You don't want to hurt yourself. Um, if you hurt yourself, if you like overstretch, then uh, yeah, in the end you're gonna progress even, even slower because you won't be able to train. So take your time, take your time. Wiggle again, wiggle, and now let gravity pull you down. Stay here and breathe. Enjoy that stretch. Feel the pull in your inner thighs. Feel how your hips are opening up. So nice. And now uh, you can actually stay in that pose, but I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna like uh, show you from the side so you can see that better because we're gonna do some stuff with our feet now. Oop. So, um, so we're still in that uh, frog pose. Right in the frog pose here. Down. And yeah, maybe you're like on the floor here with your chest. You can come up now again onto your elbows or even onto your hands. Right, this is fine too. And then move back and forth here, back and forth to open up further. Now move those feet up, up, turn them up, up. It's just a teeny tiny move, right? It's not much, up. If it hurts your knees, maybe you have to use this thicker mat or put some towels or something underneath your knees. Let's stay here for three. Two, one, and now feet in, right? So that your, your big toes are kind of touching here and you keep moving back and forth, rolling the bum up and the hips down. Bum up and hips down. The door just opened there. I don't know why. 
Well, that happens sometimes with the wind. Bum up and hips down. Keep breathing. Wiggle again, wiggle. Back and forth. And now try to get the chest and your upper body close to the floor here. Stay here for a moment. Keep breathing. Hands underneath your shoulders. Press up and move back and forth here. Back and forth. How did that feel, huh? Stretchy? Open already? Down again. Open those legs again, right? 90 degree angle at or knees. And this is the last push. All the way down if you can. And stay here. Maybe rolling the bum up and the hips down. Or maybe you're all the way on the floor already, then you don't have to do that. Let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1. Step in, up, ah. You can put the towel aside. Oh, if your inner thighs feel like jelly, this is normal. Roll them. From side to side. Whew. And that was it. I hope you did like it. Oops. I hope it did help you with your hip flexibility. Check out my other videos too. Have a great week and see you soon. Bye bye.